is saying it is making progress helping those who've lost their jobs. The Department of Labor tells Eyewitness News unemployment claims are being handled faster. So far, they've given out $230 million in benefits. Our chief capital reporter, Susan Raff, has been on top of this. She's live now with new information on this economic crisis. Susan? Dennis, the Department of Labor has been under a lot of pressure to handle an overload. Some are calling it a tsunami of claims. And what's making the difference, apparently, is not only hiring more staff, but automation. No one um, could have possibly been prepared for this quick a ramp up in this short a period of time. The worst economic crisis is how David Lewis describes this pandemic. Lewis founded Operations Inc. based in Norwalk, which consults companies on human resource issues. These days, COVID-19 is the number one concern. 26 million Americans are now out of work. Here in Connecticut, that number won't be known until the jobs report is released May 21st. But unemployment is expected to be at at least 20 percent. In the meantime, the Department of Labor is working around the clock to process claims and get payments out. They've hired more people and now have an automated system. Since March 13th, Connecticut has processed 327,000 of the 402,000 applications. That's more than 80 percent, providing 83 million in benefits in just the past week. The pace at which these claims are coming in now, they're getting a little bit more used to. I don't know if that's a good piece of news. The restaurant industry has been devastated. More than 89,000 employees have been laid off. The Connecticut Restaurant Association started a relief fund. They've raised more than $40,000 from small businesses. 23 breweries are donating some of their proceeds from beer sales. Employees are able to get $500. It's a long road to recovery. Um, you know, the biggest thing is first step uh, needs to be to get them back on their feet. Um, some financial support, whether from the federal government or our state, um, some things that can get them, you know, reopen to, to employ. The restaurant and food industry has been the hardest hit nationally. About 8 million workers are now unemployed, taking a $50 billion hit on the economy. When businesses do finally reopen, it will be slow, and they will have to convince workers and their customers it is safe. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.